Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yopen News House 4 playing as England over here in yeah England, Europe. And uh, yeah, we are still busy with our war against uh, Ramazan over here. So uh, yeah, and the Ottomans declared war on uh, the same dude last uh, last episode. So we have to just uh, kind of camp out here and wait for uh, for him to peace out. And uh, there are also rebels, Ramazani peasants actually, that uh, could rise up. But uh, yeah, there's no way to check how far the progress is, which is really, really annoying. And yeah, there's not that much I can do about it. So yeah, too bad. So um, yeah, we'll just have to uh, wait here and uh, we'll stick uh, to the province uh, next to it. We'll uh, plant our army down here, let them uh, rest uh, there for a while. And uh, hopefully, once they're all spawned, the Ottomans will actually come in and destroy them without them, uh, well, uh, unseaging the province. Well, the rebels, that is. Because, uh, yeah, if the rebels uh, get the province, then the Ottomans can unseage it and then uh, then uh, take it for themselves. So, hopefully, that will, won't happen. And our economic situation is still pretty piss poor. So, uh, let's see. What should we do now? Probably just wait for our money and manpower to recover, actually. Yeah, we gained core province and uh, the other one is almost done as well. So that's always great. And yeah, we're just uh, waiting out here. Kandar uh, probably wants out of the war sometime soon. Or well, he probably will get it next, so it doesn't really matter anyway. So still need to pay 200 something something uh, ducats. So we will still have to wait for that uh, money to roll in. And yeah, minus for prestige, whatever, excommunicated, whatever. Who cares? I don't actually know how to get uh, how to get back into the church, so that will be interesting. Did it actually give us a relationship penalty? We are accumulated minus 50, so yeah, probably should improve relationship with Castile a bit more. And uh, who else already has to? Portugal, of course, and Austria. Austria is actually kind of still kind of friendly with us. You know where it's communicated, but uh, yeah, that sucks. Still sucks. Yeah, rebels are still uh, slowly, uh, slowly uh, increasing, and uh, well, hopefully they won't spawn anytime soon. So, actually, Trebizond got vassalized by Crimea. Uh, Crimea. How the hell did I say Crimea? I mean, uh, Karakoyunlu. And yeah, there goes uh, our friend Kandar. Too bad. Goodbye, Kandar. And the Ottomans, yeah, still at war with Ramazan. Nine war score. I don't actually know where they get their war score from. Maybe from the battles that they already uh, won against Kandar. Excuse me. Huh. Had to sneeze a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking pretty stable, honestly. Our military engineer has died. Okay. Manpower modifier might be nice. Yeah, we can easily afford that. I'm not gonna hire any advisors uh, at the moment because I do. Oh no, stability or more money? Yeah, we we need to pay off pay off that loan. So, how much as it pains me, we do need to kind of finish off uh, paying off that loan. Yeah, France is still being ravaged by rebels. Well, not really ravaged because uh, I think the only thing they uh, the Bogomolist heretics will do is. Uh, Increase uh, the autonomy or something. Most of these like weird rebels uh, don't do much except for change tolerance or something sometimes. So uh, no worries there. Probably we'll be, we'll be all fine. And uh, yeah, meanwhile uh, we will just uh, sit here for a while. Yeah, Ireland is starting to calm down. The revolt risk is almost uh, almost uh, vaporized. So uh, yeah, all going great. So it's kind of sitting on our ass. Renew the loan. Oh boy. Increased inflation. Oh yippee. How oh, great. Yeah, how is Russia actually looking? Oh, it's looking pretty good. Denmark took a part of Novgorod, which is pretty cool. And yeah, he's the Livonian order with Muscovy, so he won't, will not uh, be an ex anytime soon, probably. He's not by Lithuania. Who is uh, actually allied to the Teutonic Order and Poland. Alright, that's... Uh, that's something, I guess. It's kind of an awkward relationship. And uh, yeah, Circassia is also allied with Lithuania. And he's kind of expanding into the hordes over here. Interesting. And Kazan is looking 
Well, did he lose as much land? No, he hasn't lost any land yet. And he has a vessel. And uh, he's at war with someone, the Golden Horde. So he'd probably grow, grow a little bit, which is uh, fine. No worries there. Yeah, we still just need to f f finish uh, this war with uh, with Ramazan and the Ottomans. I don't know. It 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 could take years before they uh, cave in and have actually uh, yeah start uh, start to peace out. So it could could take a whole while. While yeah, see burgers burgers gain influence. Burgers and clergy are both pretty happy right now. Clergy loses influence. Uh, burgers gain influence. Loyalty, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Well, fuck the burgers again. I'm sorry. They're just a little bit more important to me. Can't I get some sort of manpower or something? Or was that at burgers? Could be the burgers. Diplo points. Cheaper. Advisors. Administrator. No. Support the clergy. Make generous donation. No, I'm not going to spend any money right now. Loses. Uh, oh. Aren't admin points? Hmm. Do you want something else? No. Well, might as well take it, right? So a little, little less happy, but uh, oh well. And our good general died. Oh crap. That's too bad. So we we are gaining quite a few points right now. It's pretty good. Yeah, we kind of uh, we are kind of falling behind on tech, but that, but the military tech is mostly because uh, oh money again. <laughs> Royal of armies plus 10 for 20 years. Ooh. I probably have to take this, I'm sorry. Yeah, Lona uh, just has to wait a little longer. Yeah, 0, 0.0 revolt risk, great. So is our war reduction actually, actually high? No, it's not, minus three revolt risk. Great. Yeah, the excommunication, uh, if that would go away, it would be really nice. But I have I have no clue how to get rid of excommunication. Because the I think the, the Pope that uh, declared uh, the excommunication on us, the French one, uh, actually died already. So, don't know what's stopping uh, the current ones from, uh, from revoking the excommunication. So, we still had you. We'll just have to wait. No other uh, explanation. Yeah, at least Ottomans can be happy. They gain two provinces. I mean, it's something, right? Theodoro has a claim on the Ottomans. Vessel of Crimea. Is Crimea rivaled or something to the Ottomans? Does look like it. But uh, Crimea, uh, Theodoro thought, oh, let's uh, claim the Ottomans. So it should be fine, right? Well, maybe it's, it is because there was a dude uh, like a second ago in another, another country, which, which was named Kandar. Yeah, it's probably that. But oh well. Oh, Denmark is in his war against Sweden. Denmark, Norway, Pomerania, and Verden. And he's at war with Scotland, Sweden, and at the same time, Mosk Muscovy. In a separate war. Oh, Muscovy's attacking Denmark. Smart move, smart move. Do we care? We have a strong claim air. Yeah, he's pretty alright. Yeah, let's just do that. 90% legitimacy isn't that bad. Ooh, Sunni Zealots, how great. Karkunlu, the very stable nation uh, that it is, will probably uh, collapse to these uh, new rebels. So yeah, what he always does is vassalize everyone around him and then uh, they get pretty revolty and then uh, they do jack shit and just do stupid stuff. And then uh, most, uh, most of the time they fall apart. And their vests are disloyal and all that jazz. So yeah. Not great, not great. We didn't we have any I think we had a, have a few heavy ships, yeah. So get out of there. And uh mothball, because uh, that will save us some extra ducats. Should have actually done that much earlier. Oh well. Yeah, almost all the rebels are gone. And now uh, let's increase our military attack level. So yeah, I've actually been playing, lately I've been uh, playing a lot of other games. I haven't been playing Metroid Tech. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, let's just do it, whatever. Well, maybe uh, if I calculate it, uh, maybe it would have been more advantageous to not uh, not take a decision, but... 
I'm uh, not uh, in the mood to uh, do that sort of stuff. Oh, Musk! Musk, if you actually ate into Lithuania, why did I just why did I just notice that? Oh, bro, bro, what a what a gigantic nation! Military attack level shit though. Always attack shit. Well, not we're not doing that much uh, much better, but uh, oh well. Scotland is actually getting invaded totally. So hopefully. Uh, He's completely getting invaded, so hopefully Denmark will uh, annul the treaties with France. Not very likely, I don't know what kind of uh, reason Denmark would have for annulling treaties, but uh, I don't know, might well, uh, might well do it maybe. He's uh, down there anyway. Yeah, it would be kind of cool if Denmark would, to, to, would, to, would take a few provinces, but uh, it seems kind of unlikely. Except the peace. 10% income war reparations, 363 ducats. Alright. Fine. 73, we have to pay this one off. So, hopefully, we'll be fine. But yeah, I've been not playing EU4 that much lately because there have been so much, uh, so many other games, so many great games coming out. I mean, what, what uh, did come out this year? It was Stardew Valley. And I've been playing Overwatch a bunch. And the new Beach DLC is pretty cool. So yeah, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, I'm maybe kind of done with Grand Strategy. Well, actually, well, not completely. I will, I will come back to some games, I think. And uh, maybe I'll try Hearts of Iron 4 or something. But it's more like that uh, I've been playing so many uh, so many hours of EU4 that I actually kind of feel that I, I should uh, spend some more time on like other games. Because, uh, yeah... Well, I've been actually playing a lot of other games, but uh, still, I would I would like to spend more time in so other types of games, kind of uh, diversify my uh, my free time a little bit, my spare time. So yeah, that's uh, mostly it. So yeah, Overwatch is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not much of a f well, I do play quite a few first-person shooters, but uh, I haven't ever put any serious time in an online first person shooter so that's kind of new to me but uh, yeah it's fun interesting yeah but I could uh, show, pro probably should uh, continue claiming a French pro province over here we should make it a territory well let's let's try to, to uh, take up admin points first admin, uh, admin tech first so that we can do whatever we want um, Call for peace, yeah. The first call for peace is uh, coming. So yeah, minus nine against Ottomans and minus 100 against us. So I don't know when Ottomans did start their war. Can't we see it somewhere in the war screen or something? Country. Um, hmm. Isn't there? I think there was a current wars thingy somewhere. Military, I think then. Relations then. Current wars. So, can we see the time actually? The Arakani conquest of Tongu, all these nations that I uh, don't know exist. English War of Aggression, yeah, sure. Ottoman conquest of Adana. No, I actually can't seem to find uh, the start date of these uh, wars. It's too bad. Oh, Novgorod actually exists. Yeah, I've uh, I've been missing some uh, some details on the map, I think. But uh, oh well. So yeah, I think it is very likely that the Ottomans will go after the Mamluks next. Yeah, conquer the Levant. So uh, that's interesting. Very interesting. So I actually don't know what to do next, if I'm completely honest. Let's see, can I do something uh, over here with the made as well? Fire is nice. Um, hmm. Navy tradition I don't have anyway. Legitimacy, mm, not really. Let's do that again. Naval admin points is a cheap one. It's it's fine. So 75 chance, 75 percent chance to win. Should be sort of alright, I think. Yeah, and also I don't have a claim on the Mamluk, so if I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't do anything right now. So probably should set. Uh, all these shit, uh, all this shit has uh, vital interest. So maybe the Ottomans will uh, keep out of the Middle East, but 
That seems sort of unli unlikely, but uh, oh well. Might as well try anyway, right? There we go. If I could see Iraq, I would uh, put it on the list too, but uh, oh well. Let's send him to hostile. There we go. Yeah, we're still waiting on the stupid uh, Mamluks or whatever. Oh, we can actually, if you want to, we could immediately attack the Mamluks, but I don't. We don't really have the force at the moment, so it's kind of too bad. Yeah, and it would cost money to train troops, so we should really pay off that loan first. Oh, 20,000 trade embargoes or whatever. Are these all vessels of the of the friend Austria? No, they're not. I know. Strange stuff. Oh, Poland is at war with Hungary. Oh no, Serbia is at war with Hungary. Hungary, Florence and Austria against Serbia and Bosnia. Wow, you, you need, really need to uh, call in your allies, right? It's totally not a complete, a complete overkill. No, Serbia is way too strong for you, Hungary. I should, uh, you should just give up. Ramazan still asking for peace, but uh, he's not uh, gonna give it to us. And the Ottomans uh, keep. Well, they're they they're keeping up their war. They they don't really feel any need to uh, peace out right now. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. Ooh, in our first idea group, great. I think it's gonna be religious, honestly, because uh, we are going to convert the Middle East. I think. Could also just go humanist, but uh, Thrones of Heathens is is only the end at the end of it, and here we can actually start converting quite rapidly. So I think we will do this one, and then uh, conquering the Middle East will be kind of easy with our uh, religious war casus belli. It won't cost us any uh, diplo points to take shit. Oh, ooh, that's so tempting. That is so tempting, but no, I really can't do that right now. Well, I could take another loan, but I really need to build some troops. Yeah, now uh, that we have 18k manpower, we can uh, build some shit again. Should probably think of uh, building up some money first. Building up our treasury so we can uh, buy all the troops all at once. Oh crap, we had a uh, dude in France. Whoops. Let's see, fabricate claim. At least 50 to do this action. Because we got caught or something? Or did it uh, get even more expensive in some kind of uh, mysterious patch that came out like a second ago? That I didn't know of. I don't know. Let's see, what's our force limit at the moment? 26 out of 39. We could uh, build up some more troops. Well, let's do. I should probably all spend all at once because now my income is... Uh, Going up slower because I have to pay these dudes uh, mean in, 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 in the meantime. So I probably should uh, wait a minute before doing that sort of stuff. But hopefully, hopefully the Ottomans will go to war with Karkunli or something first. But uh, yeah, you never know. Because the Ottomans do have a few cores and the claims on the on Karkunli, so that's pretty pretty interesting. Choose with friends at the end, I don't care. I don't need friends anymore. They are of non -import they are not important anymore. You mean a rival against France. Alright. Whatever. Trade City moved. Oh no. To Paris. Where is before then? Over here somewhere? Genoa trade known probably. Oh, they peaced out. All right, great. So you are now my vassal. No, I don't want you to give up claims. Do want all your money though. There we go. Pretty loyal vassal. All, all things considered, the different religions and stuff. So yeah, we probably should improve relations somewhat. But uh, yeah, hopefully he will start claiming stuff. And otherwise we'll have to just declare war uh, without him. So yeah, it probably is a good idea to ferry some troops over over here. Let's bring him to France first. 
and then we'll uh, ship them over to Ramazan over here. Hopefully the Ottomans will, won't do anything uh, very radical or something, but uh, you'll never know. So, hope you enjoyed this episode today. It was kind of uh, watching uh, the Ottomans peace out, but uh, yeah, some interesting things happened in Europe, right? It's kind of a mess in the East over here. But uh, hope to see you back next time. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.